Welcome to Nerdgasm everyone. Today we're going to be going over the origin of the Reverse Flash. One of the Flash's greatest enemies, and honestly in my opinion, one of the best villains in the DC Universe. In the 25th century where Eobard Thawne is from, there are no more mistakes and time is utilized to the fullest. Even Eobard's own birth was part of a protocol. His strawberry blonde hair, blue eyes, and genius IQ was entirely engineered by his parents. Eventually his parents would decide he needed a brother who would help develop his social abilities. But Eobard saw having a little brother as a nuisance. All of the required activities that he had to take part in severely affected his studies, and Eobard was already a difficult child to be around. Imagine having an ungrateful brother on top of that. When he got older, Eobard was behind in his studies and was rejected for a position at the Flash Museum. But being the genius he is, he thought it would be better to just learn the history of the Speed Force on his own. Well apparently looking into the Speed Force outside of the Flash Museum is illegal and the cop that came to arrest him was none other than his little brother. Eobard's little brother even erased all the data he had been collecting over the years. His brother was just about to arrest him and take him to jail when Eobard Thawne, the reverse Flash, appeared and seemingly erased his own brother from his timeline. Now Eobard would grow up as an only child. Now an only child, Eobard had plenty of time to dedicate his life to study the Speed Force. He would even become one of the scientific elite at the Flash Museum. He spent his days trying to learn the secrets of the Speed Force end of the flashes until someone at the flash museum beat him to it. This guy figured out how to rebuild the cosmic treadmill and was going to prove the existence of the speed force. Surprisingly, Eobard took the loss fairly well. That is until Professor Drake refused to share information on the speed force with him. Eobard snapped and before he could even finish yelling at Professor Drake, the reverse flash showed up again and erased Drake from the timeline. With Drake out of the way, Eobard became the professor at the flash museum and because he was the leading expert on the speed force, they gave him the nickname Professor Zoom. Now he would spend his time trying to tap into the Speed Force, unsuccessfully. His parents began to worry about him and told him that people were saying that the Flash never even existed and the museum is a lie. When they threatened the suspension of the Flash Museum, Reverse Flash appeared again and killed his own parents. Unsurprisingly, this didn't even phase Eobard and he continued with his work. He was going insane trying to unlock the Speed Force. Everything he did just led to another dead end, but then he would experience something new. Eobard actually fell in love, but when the woman he fell for had a fiancé, the Reverse Flash killed her fiancé. Even with him out of the way and the two of them growing closer, he couldn't get her to go out on a date. She was still hoping that eventually her fiancé would show up. Reverse Flash then went back in time and erased her fiancé from the timeline completely so she'd be available to date Eobard. She just didn't feel the same way about him. But don't worry, the Reverse Flash fixed that. He went back in time and permanently damaged her when she was five years old by vibrating her at super speed. Now Eobard would grow up having never fell in love and dedicated all his time to learning about the speed force. But one day out of nowhere, a time capsule crashed right in front of him. It was the luckiest day of his life. The capsule contained the Flash's signature uniform along with other remnants from the 21st century. He used the uniform to find a spark of the speed force in the suit and used that spark to replicate the speed force explosion and give himself super speed. Eobard had finally done it. He finally obtained what he always wanted, and when he took his powers for a little test drive, he pushed a tipsy party girl off a roof. Before she hit the ground, Eobard raced down and caught her, saying that she was lucky he was there. This is how Eobard Thawne became the fastest man alive, the Flash of the 25th century. But we all know that this wouldn't last long, and the Reverse Flash would get his revenge on the Flash for the future he was about to experience. He vowed revenge for what Barry Allen would do to him, and started his rampage through Barry Allen's life. Now we all know that even though Eobard wanted to be a hero, when he found out he was supposed to be the Flash's greatest villain, he went a little bit insane. Taking some nasty turns, the Flash eventually had to stop him. This is where Eobard learned he would become the Flash's greatest enemy. And to him, Barry Allen was a destroyer, not a hero. Eobard was locked away until he was able to use the Speed Force in his system to escape. But he didn't just run back and try to kill the Flash. No, no, no. He created his own Speed Force, a negative Speed Force. And with his new negative Speed Force, he ran back in time to destroy the Flash. He figured that he could stop the chemicals from hitting Barry and undo his transformation that caused him to become the Flash. Then Eobard would be the only Flash to ever exist. He could use the lightning bolt to start his origin as the Flash. However, as the lightning bolt got closer to Eobard, Eobard started to fade away and the lightning bolt passed right through him hitting Barry and giving Barry Allen super speed. Eobard realized that he almost faded out of existence by trying to stop Barry from becoming the Flash. As you can imagine, he was infuriated that the man he wants to kill most in the world needs to live in order for the reverse flash to exist. 
He decided to go for the next best thing and hurt the people closest to him. But when he tried to kill Iris, the Flash didn't take too kindly to that idea and ended up snapping Eobard's neck. But Eobard was quick to learn from his mistakes. Now he needed a new tactic. Eobard decided to try and break Barry down as a child and began demoralizing him through his entire childhood. Even when Barry began to make friends, the reverse Flash would show up and erase them from the timeline so Barry would always be alone. Eobard's final act to completely ruin the Flash's life was insanely monstrous. He would travel back in time to right after Barry left for school and finally get his revenge by killing Nora Allen. With Nora Allen dead and Henry Allen accused of the murder, Eobard thought it finally won. Barry Allen's life would never be the same again. And this was just the beginning of the Reverse Flash's rampage against the Flash. Now there have been plenty of other Reverse Flashes in the comic books, but Eobard Thawne has always been the best one. The things that he's done because he sees the Flash as the villain is insane. And no matter what Barry does, Eobard is always there to try and break him down. Not to mention the fact that his negative speed force allows him to do things that Barry's speed force can't. Let me know what you guys think about Eobard Thawne in the comment section below. Who's your favorite speedster and who's your favorite villain? Let me know what hero or villain you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and stick around. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.